In this video, let's talk about how you can change iPad country settings. And uh, there are two approaches how you can do this. The first one is by going to the settings. And here, if you go to the uh, general and a date and a time, here you can see the 24 hour time and your uh, like time zone. So this can be changed in the terms of the location and country as well. So here, if you disable the automatic, you can change the time zone to pretty much any country. and any way you want. So that would be just about the time, but usually people have it on automatic. But uh, the other thing is a language and region. So for different countries, you may change, uh, uh, change it to a different language, of course. So you're going to change the language here and the region is right there. So if you tap on region, you can choose from all of the countries here. And this list is only important when, I mean, naturally, you should only add the country that you live in. It used to be like this in the past where, for example, some services like Apple News were not available in some countries. So you could just switch here to United States and it would just like restart the iPhone and you would just end up having the Apple News app, which would all of a sudden just load up. So this is like another way of changing the country of your iPad. I mean, it's really not that important. A lot of times you're not even, you're not even going to like realize uh, where uh, the uh, region is. It doesn't affect your iPad uh, that much. However, this was just the iPad, but if you want to change the Apple ID region, there is also a way to do this. So tap on your name. So you under your name, click on media and purchases and tap view account. Here you're going to be able to see all of your information regarding your account. It is your face ID for authentication, so it should be good. And now it just shows you all of the important information about your account. Here you also have country and region. So tapping on it allows you to go ahead and change it to something else. However, it's not always the case. As you can see right here, it apparently does not work. To change stores, you must first cancel your Apple Music subscription. And it's not just the, the Apple Music subscription. In order to change the region of your Apple ID, you're gonna cancel all of your subscriptions. Then you're gonna be able to change it. But not only that, you need to also like relieve your family sharing so you cannot be part of any family sharing group or anything like that. Because in this case, it just won't allow you to change the region. You're going to have to spend all of your credit that you have attached to your Apple ID and pretty much have your slate clean. It's just important so you don't leave anything here in one country. You cannot like move or transfer the credit to a different country or region. It's just not possible. You have to like close everything that you have going on in here and then you can change it to a different country and start fresh. Then in a different region, you're going to have to add like a different payment payment method. So you're going to have to like set it up all over again. I don't know what you actually want to achieve with this, but this is exactly how you can do it. Of course, it also applies to other things. For example, your iCloud Plus subscription. If you change to a different country, it may also be like you're going to be able to have like their payments in their currency. So Maybe it's going to be even a better price or a worse price. I don't know. It's not really something I would mess with. It really depends, like I said, on what you want to achieve with this. Because if you want to just check out some other apps on a different app store country, then yeah, perhaps, but maybe just create a new Apple ID to not mess with your old one. After you switch, you're going to have to re-download all of your apps, music, iMovie, TV shows, books, everything as you had it before. So if you paid for something using the old Apple ID, you're going to have to pay for it most likely again using your new Apple ID, new payment method. You're going to have to cancel all of your pre-orders. If you have wait for any memberships or anything like that, you have to cancel all of that before changing the region. So it's a bit more complicated than you probably expected. And that's why I make sure to really think about it. But these were the three methods how you can change the region or country of your iPad. So now if you want to see what's your battery percentage of the battery health is on your iPad, make sure to check out this video right here because it's not as simple as on the iPhone that you go to the settings. It's literally not there in the settings. So there's no battery health in here. So you're going to have to find it out in a very special way, but it's not that difficult. Make sure to check the video here and you're going to find it out.